<clears throat> I'm excited for today's video. Today's video is all about five ways you can make money in the fishing industry. By the way, I made a new intro. Let's roll it. All right, so I'm thinking about naming this series Talk Tuesday. If you guys like it, let me know in the comment section. But basically on Tuesdays, we just talk about fishing related stuff. And if you are new to the channel and you like fishing content, whether it's talking or actual fishing, <laughs> Consider hitting, the, uh, consider hitting that subscribe button and the bell button to get notified every time that I upload. All right, guys, I'm also starting a new thing, catch of the week. So you guys can actually send me your catches and get them featured in my videos. Just go to my Instagram account, TV, and just DM me your catches. This week, catch of the week goes to Jock. Look at that thing's belly. That is crazy. <laughs> And then comment of the day goes to Jan Hinder Kroos. Thanks a lot for commenting on the videos. I truly appreciate each and every comment that you guys leave on the videos. All right, so let's look at five ways you can make money in the fishing industry. Just a little disclaimer, I did get all these five ways from research. Number one, you can use your boat for tours. So you can literally take people on trips. Let's say you want to take them to a big lake or something. You can let them pay you and you can organize the accommodation and the food and you can organize everything and they basically fund that and you can ask them extra because you are the organizer so you can use your boat for tours make just make sure your boat is big enough for at least two people uh two or three people preferably and that it's equipped with all the gear a lot of the people they want to do that but they don't necessarily want to bring their own equipment so for example they come from a different country and they just want to have like a basic charter service so number two will be making and selling your own fishing lures now this may sound a little bit tricky and too hard to do but it actually isn't if you do a little bit of research you'll be able to melt your own plastics and make your own spinner baits jigs by yourself it's really not too hard i haven't done it personally so i don't know why i'm saying it's not too hard but it is definitely possible i know a few people personally that has been doing that and they actually do pretty good so that's a really good route to go as well prime example of this is the guggen squad recently they made their own guggen bait series the drag and drop the bug bait, the mondo worm, I'm not exactly sure all the names. So number three is actually one of my favorites, but it's not very known of. But the people who are doing it is definitely crushing it in that game. And it's basically affiliate marketing. So let's say, for example, you get approached or you can actually approach some big brands and basically tell them that you want to resell some of their products and you want a commission because you're basically going to market their product. So for example, you work with um, Striking, for example, and you go to them and you say you want to resell this stuff. They must please give you a affiliate link or a affiliate code. So when someone uses that code at the checkout on the website, you basically get a commission, a percentage of the amount which they, they paid for it. So let's say you get 10% commission off of a hundred bucks jig then it's basically 110 bucks you earn <laughs> number four is by far my favorite and i think it's going to be your favorite as well to hear at least and that is becoming a bass fishing guide now this really depends a lot where you live in the country and if there is a big question or well yeah question if a lot of people want that so for example in the states where there is a ton of bass fishermen and people want to get out fishing but they don't necessarily know a lake or they're too afraid to put their big boat on a lake which they're not sure and they might think or be scared that there's going to be humps or some logs or stuff that can damage their boat and they're not sure where that stuff is underwater they might just hire someone to take them out and show them the lake and teach them some stuff and i honestly i would love to do this more and i think a lot of you guys would actually like to do this as well so that's just another great tip becoming a um a bass fishing guide. I know Lake Fork was actually doing some bass fishing, bass fishing guiding <laughs> uh, uh, quite a lot before he got big into the YouTube game. So yeah. Number five is being a fishing influencer. I don't think you get... Anyway, being a fishing influencer. So basically you make content about fishing, whether it is photos or videos, basically like what I'm doing right now. And then you can monetize the platform which you post it on, whether it is Facebook, YouTube or Instagram or whatever. Um, and you can get some brand deals through that as well. A lot of the people, brands will actually approach you and ask you to make some content for them, whether it is photos or videos, and then they will pay you to post it. Or you will post basic videos like I'm doing now and then some brands will actually pay to put an advertisement. You know, when you click a video, there's always an ad that pops up on YouTube. 
basically that pays the, the content creator. So that's just another way. Um, I wouldn't say it's the most lucrative way, especially when you're starting out like me and you're still quite small in the YouTube game. You haven't got, you don't get too much views and stuff like that. So yeah, it's a pretty tough one, but in the long term, it's probably worth looking at. I mean, all the Guggens is actually crushing it in that game. Scott Martin, one rod, one reel. Anyway, there's a bunch of YouTubers doing it right now and they are absolutely crushing it. And that, that's one of my goals and I would love to do that full time. So if you want to help me, please hit that subscribe button. Anyway, this video has been short. I hope it was sweet for you guys. But anyway, if you have any other suggestions or things you guys have, might have been thinking about a different way to make some money uh, in the fishing industry, please leave it in the comment section. I'm sure there's a lot of people that would actually read that and uh, would like to know the knowledge. So if you have any information or you have an idea or another way to make some money in the fishing industry, please leave it in the comment section below. And that is basically it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you guys like to talk Tuesday as well, let me know what you guys think about that. It's just a little idea I had and um, I thought it would be a good idea because I can't go fishing every single day. So I thought keep the videos up, maybe just do like a talk Tuesday because it doesn't take too long to film. But uh, it's also pretty helpful. I'm, I'm sure, well, I'm, I'm hoping, I'm hoping that some of you guys are um, learning something from this or enjoying it at least so let me know in the comment section and please hit the like button if you enjoyed it as it will help this video get seen by more people and then until next time guys god bless and see you in the next video i'm super excited because friday i'm going on a fishing trip two day fishing trip so videos of that will be dropping soon if i catch fish it's winter <laughs> anyway enjoy the day peace out